the stuff is landing or crashing around the world and unexpected countries have had this happen. If there is malevolent non-human intelligences, okay, well, that's a fact of life. Don't hide it. Since the 1960s, countless individuals have reported strange encounters with UFOs or aliens, ranging from abduction tales to sightings of peculiar lights and crafts. These UFO sightings have become widely known, creating intrigue worldwide. Recently, David Grush, a former U.S. intelligence officer, has surfaced with fresh revelations about UFOs. Who is David Grush? What does the U.S. government truly know about aliens? And what new insights has Grush unveiled? Join us as we unravel the terrifying final secret. Aliens are here on Earth as revealed by Grush. David Grush's Astonishing UFO Claims David Grush, a former intelligence officer with an extensive background, including service in the Air Force, and roles at the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency in the National Reconnaissance Office, has put forth a remarkable assertion that the government possesses alien spacecraft and even extraterrestrial bodies. According to Grush, this is a recent development in a clandestine operation spanning decades, involving multiple government agencies and private companies. The number of incidents involving the retrieval of crashed UFOs, according to Grush, is in the double digits, although he refrains from disclosing precise figures. This covert program, he suggests, encompasses the recovery and study of both intact alien vehicles and wreckage from these crashes. If indeed true, this would imply that the government has had evidence of extraterrestrial life for an extensive period, all kept hidden from the public eye. Grush characterizes this initiative as a reverse engineering endeavor aimed at gleaning insights from alien technology. The potential implications are staggering. Intact alien spacecraft alone could yield invaluable knowledge about advanced propulsion systems, material science, and other technologies far beyond our current understanding. Even the wreckage of these craft holds promise as a trove of information regarding their operational mechanisms. Adding to the intrigue, Grush asserts that defense contractors are intimately involved in these efforts. These companies, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and specialized expertise, are tasked with analyzing and deciphering the workings of these alien technologies. This collaboration between military and intelligence agencies, along with private enterprises, paints a compelling picture of a unified endeavor to unlock the mysteries of extraterrestrial technology. This revelation opens up a realm of possibilities for scientific advancement and technological innovation. Imagine the breakthroughs that could arise from the study of alien propulsion systems or the discovery of new materials with unprecedented properties. The implications extend beyond mere curiosity to potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. However, skepticism abounds as the secrecy surrounding such operations makes independent verification impossible. Critics argue that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And until concrete proof emerges, the existence of these alleged extraterrestrial artifacts remains speculative. Nonetheless, the notion of governments collaborating with private entities to study extraterrestrial technology captures the imagination and underscores the perennial fascination with the possibility of life beyond our planet. Whether rooted in reality or speculation, the idea of humanity on the brink of unlocking the secrets of alien technology fuels the imagination and invites contemplation of the profound implications for our species' future. However, there are several factors that fuel uncertainty and concern, raising concerns that there could be many UFO secrets being swept under the carpet by the government. Exposing Government Top Secrets Both Lazar and Grush describe a clear picture of a government diligently hiding specific information. They talk about a complicated network of secrecy, including strict security measures and information divided into sections. They also say that anyone who tries to share this information is silenced. Their main reasons for keeping this secret are worries about national security and wanting to be technologically ahead of other countries. It's important to note that these are big claims. 
which means they need solid evidence. Lazar's story, although interesting, has faced doubt because there's not enough proof that can be checked, and there are differences in his background. Despite this, he remains a key figure in UFO fan groups, inspiring many documentaries and discussions. Grush, on the other hand, adds credibility to his claims because of his background in intelligence and the military. However, like Lazar, he struggles to provide solid evidence that can be checked publicly. So what does all this mean? Well, for now, the truth is still a mystery. These are just stories. And until there's solid evidence, they'll probably keep being debated by both believers and doubters. But regardless, they spark our imaginations and make us think about the big unknown beyond our planet. After all, the universe is a fascinating place, full of secrets waiting to be discovered. Both Lazar and Grush's claims match up with long-standing conspiracy theories about the government hiding extraterrestrial encounters and advanced technology. These theories often mention supposed events like the Roswell UFO crash of 1947 and the secretive Area 51 military base in Nevada. While mainstream science usually dismisses such claims because there's no proof, they continue to be popular in culture and fringe groups. Lazar's story got a lot of attention in the late 1980s when he said he worked on studying alien spacecraft at a facility near Area 51. Even though he doesn't have real evidence, his detailed descriptions of the supposed technology and operations have led to lots of speculation and investigations. Grush, with his background in intelligence and the military, adds credibility to similar claims, as what he says matches up with stories of secret government programs. The debate about these claims shows a broader interest in the unknown and where humans fit in the universe. People around the world are fascinated by the search for alien life and advanced technology, which drives scientific exploration and cultural interest. While doubters want proof before believing these big claims, believers like the idea of a universe full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. The U.S. government, on the other hand, has further fueled the doubts prompting many UFO experts and enthusiasts to launch their own quest for the truth. The quest for truth and trust. When the United States government approved a bill to release all hidden information about UFOs, many hope for the truth. Yet the government's ongoing secrecy about UFOs is troubling. This secrecy sparks concerns not just about aliens, but also about the emotional impact of uncovering a cover-up. People wonder why the government, despite admitting to UFOs, hesitates to disclose more. What are they hiding, and why are they so adamant about protecting it? Interest in UFOs, now called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, UAPs, surged in June 2023 when David Grush, a former intelligence agent, revealed that the U.S. had been retrieving alien spacecraft for decades. His claims triggered a congressional hearing where Grush and others shared their experiences from military service and secret projects. Their testimonies prompted the creation of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Disclosure Act, spearheaded by Democrat Chuck Schumer and Republican Mike Rounds. While it's captivating to focus on the extraordinary aspect of UFOs and the credibility of witnesses, the potential existence of alien spacecraft raises profound questions beyond our place in the universe. Scientists are exploring not just the search for extraterrestrial life, but also the psychological implications if aliens are real, and worse if authorities have been deceiving us. In the realm of government, the main concern is trust. As Republican Congressman Glenn Grothman of Wisconsin highlighted in his remarks on July 26, trust is crucial. However, it's important not to underestimate the value of the government being open and honest. Lack of government transparency to the public. The lack of transparency from the government about unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, has led to widespread speculation and debate for many years, undermining the public's trust in the institutions meant to serve and protect them. The Disclosure Act aimed to restore this trust and reassure Congress that secretive projects were not happening beyond its oversight. It was inspired by the President John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act, of 1992, which was enacted due to growing public belief, fueled by Oliver Stone's movie JFK, that the U.S. government and military were involved in the president's assassination. 
This act created a national archive of all records related to the assassination and declassified most of them. Despite these efforts, the Disclosure Act has been criticized for failing to improve transparency and even exacerbating suspicions that the government is hiding something. According to Daniel Stubbings, a clinical psychologist at Cardiff Metropolitan University, if there is nothing substantial behind the UFO issue beyond misconceptions, paranoia, and disinformation, then government, military, and academic organizations should openly investigate. However, their lack of transparency only fuels suspicion. While some government officials and scientists may dismiss UFO sightings as mere balloons or airplanes, many people remain unconvinced. Reports of unexplainable phenomena in the sky have been documented for centuries, supported by photographs and videos from credible sources. The release of declassified videos by the U.S. Department of Defense in 2021 further validated these claims, prompting Stubbings to take the subject seriously. He discovered that individuals from various personality profiles reported UFO sightings and often experienced unmet psychological needs. Initially skeptical, Stubbings found that the more he delved into real cases, the less certain he became about attributing UFO sightings to mundane psychological or situational factors. He acknowledges the potential significance of the UAP issue, considering it a game changer if true, while also expressing concern about the societal implications of widespread belief in something that may not be substantiated. The ongoing lack of transparency surrounding UAPs has led to increased public suspicion and debate. Despite efforts to address this through legislation like the Disclosure Act, Skepticism persists fueled by credible reports and official investigations. The psychological impact of UFO sightings cannot be overlooked, as individuals from diverse backgrounds continue to report unexplained phenomena. Further research and transparency are needed to address these concerns and understand the true nature of the UAP phenomenon. And like the USA, other world powers are also making interesting discoveries about UFOs. France's bold UFO quest. In another shocking interview, David Grosch, a former U.S. intelligence officer, made startling claims about the government concealing an unidentified flying object the size of a football field. Grosch disclosed this information during a discreet presentation attended by officials from the CIA and FBI. Describing the 12-meter alien craft, Grosch suggested that it possessed extraordinary capabilities likening it to reports of sci-fi phenomena. Despite the ban on photography, clips from the event surfaced on social media. These leaked images also revealed some of his assertions, including references to the word TARDIS, suggesting the UFO's potential to manipulate space and time, and its purported ability to generate enough energy to power thousands of homes annually. The event, held in a New York penthouse hosted by cryptocurrency advisor John D'Agostino and lawyer John J. Altarelli aimed to bring together both skeptics and believers to discuss Grush's claims. Interestingly, most attendees left as believers, swayed by Grush's compelling narrative. Remarkably, France stands as the sole European nation with a dedicated state-run UFO department housed within the French Space Center headquarters in Toulouse. Despite its unassuming exterior reminiscent of the 1970s Soviet style, the center is a hub of elite space research, reflecting France's commitment to space exploration and independence from the U.S. France's robust space agency traces its origins to the 1960s space race and President Charles de Gaulle's determination to establish national sovereignty in space endeavors. As a result, France boasts the largest space agency in Europe, maintaining a full-time UFO department, while counterparts in the U.K. and Denmark close due to budget constraints. The French UFO unit, known as Japan, comprises a small team of dedicated professionals and volunteers tasked with investigating reports of mysterious aerial phenomena. Despite its modest size, Japan remains at the forefront of UFO research, symbolizing France's unwavering commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Now, what implications are we to expect? Profound evidence of the claims. We discussed some shocking ideas about the government possibly hiding alien spaceships and bodies from other planets. But if this technology is real, what does it mean for us regular folks? Hang tight, because things are about to get even more mind-blowing. 
Imagine spaceships that can break the speed of light or even manipulate gravity itself. That's the kind of stuff whistleblowers like David Grush are talking about. This could completely change space exploration, making it possible to visit far-off galaxies much faster than we can now. The possibilities for learning about the universe would be incredible. But it's not just about spaceships. The materials used in these crafts could be unlike anything we've ever seen. They might be stronger, lighter, and even withstand the intense heat of a star. This could change many industries, from making airplanes safer and lighter, to creating advanced medical equipment that can handle extreme conditions. Think about the advancements in transportation, construction, and everyday products. Then there's the energy aspect. If aliens have figured out how to tap into unknown energy sources like the energy of the universe itself, it could be a game changer. We could stop relying on fossil fuels and switch to clean, renewable energy almost overnight. This would be great for the environment and could lead to more global cooperation and energy independence. Now, the idea of alien weapons is scary. We definitely wouldn't want any hostile forces to have superpowered weapons. But on the flip side, if we had advanced defensive technology, it could prevent conflicts and promote peace. Imagine a world where the risk of large-scale war is much lower because no one wants to mess with a civilization that has incredible technology for defense. Whether these claims are true or not, one thing is certain. The potential consequences are huge. They could change human history in ways we can't even imagine. They might lead to new scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and even global peace. But it's important to remember that these are just ideas based on unconfirmed claims. But more specific accounts have now emerged pointing at the existence of a mysterious element that experts have now dubbed Element 115. The newfound element, 115. Bob Lazar and David Grush have made sensational claims alleging that the government is concealing extraterrestrial spacecraft and advanced technology. Now let's delve deeper into Lazar's specific account, which is widespread with captivating concepts and controversy. Lazar recounted a unique experience where he had the opportunity to inspect the interior of an alien craft on a single occasion. This was significant because the positioning of the reactor within the craft could be crucial to its operation. One of Lazar's key assertions revolves around gravity wave propulsion, a theory suggesting that these alien vessels could manipulate the very fabric of space-time for propulsion. Imagine them distorting space, akin to a bubble, enabling them to achieve incredible velocities, possibly surpassing the speed of light. Furthermore, Lazar elaborated on the purported functioning of this momentum system, introducing a mysterious element known as Element 115. He claimed that this element, when bombarded with protons, could generate an immensely powerful gravitational field usable for propulsion. Allegedly, it also served as an infinite energy source for the entire spacecraft. However, the scientific community has cast doubt on Lazar's assertions. The element 115 he described is now recognized as Moscovium, but it bears no resemblance to Lazar's claims. Real Moscovium is highly unstable and incapable of the feats Lazar attributed to it. Moreover, there are inconsistencies between Lazar's explanations and established scientific principles, adding to the skepticism. The absence of tangible evidence or demonstrable prototypes of such technology further fuels doubts. Another intriguing aspect of Lazar's narrative is his allegations of a government cover-up. He contends that the government went to great lengths to conceal this extraterrestrial technology, implementing stringent security measures and purportedly harassing him after he went public. While some individuals believe Lazar, others point to discrepancies in his background that cast doubt on his credibility. In summary, the veracity of Lazar's claims remains uncertain. Despite their captivating nature, the lack of scientific substantiation leaves them shrouded in mystery. Bob Lazar and David Grush, separated by decades, share similar tales that raise profound questions about the nature of our universe. Now let's rewind to the 1980s when Bob Lazar first emerged with his extraordinary assertions. He claimed to have been involved in the reverse engineering of alien spacecraft at a clandestine facility near Area 51. According to Lazar, these spacecraft operated in defiance of conventional physics 
propelled by an enigmatic element he dubbed Element 115. Interestingly, UFO sightings are not limited to the United States. Strange UFO Sightings in Europe During an interview, Grush elaborated on UFO sightings in Europe, particularly in France and Italy, marking the first time he delved deeply into the subject publicly. While thousands of UFO sightings are reported annually worldwide, only a handful of countries allocate resources for investigation. Reports of strange sightings in the skies have led to the formation of a team called GAIAN, which stands for Study Group and Information on Non-Identified Aerospace Phenomenon. On average, the team receives two reports of UFO sightings daily, and they require detailed information, including photographs, to weed out false reports. They utilize various resources, such as checking flight paths and consulting with air traffic controllers and the military, to verify the credibility of these reports. Sometimes they even reach out to local authorities and witnesses to gather additional information. Since a notable incident during a football match in Florence around 60 years ago, where unidentified flying objects were witnessed, there has been growing interest in serious discussions about these phenomena. Although the existence of extraterrestrial life remains a subject of debate, there are many individuals, both within the Gaian team and worldwide, who firmly believe in the possibility. In one of Europe's most significant UFO sightings, a soccer match was interrupted in 1954 when spectators and players alike witnessed strange objects in the sky. Describing the event from his perspective, former footballer Artico Magnini recalls the astonishment of seeing egg-shaped objects emitting silver glitter, causing play to be halted. Another witness, lifelong Fiorentina fan Gigi Boni, remembers multiple fast-moving objects resembling Cuban cigars. Despite skepticism, the incident cannot be dismissed as mass hysteria, as similar sightings were reported across Tuscany that day. Roberto Pignod, president of Italy's National UFO Center, also emphasizes the seriousness of the event, pointing to the presence of a strange substance resembling angel hair falling from the sky simultaneously. Although investigations into the substance yielded inconclusive results, it remains an intriguing aspect of the phenomenon. Journalist Giorgio Bettini's efforts to collect samples of the substance and subject them to scientific analysis highlight the public's curiosity and determination to understand these events. While the substance's composition did not offer definitive answers, it serves as a reminder of the mystery surrounding UFO sightings and the ongoing quest for understanding. There is an especially fascinating case of UFO sighting. An extraterrestrial deception. In August 2019, the peaceful skies of Nebraska witnessed something truly astonishing that left people puzzled. A regular individual, like anyone else, glanced upward and saw a shape resembling a person ascending a staircase formed by clouds. This enchanting sight occurred, drawing the attention of onlookers who gathered to witness this extraordinary occurrence. Whispers of speculation circulated among the crowd as they pondered whether they were witnessing a live portrayal of someone journeying toward the gates of heaven. Some harbored doubts, questioning the reality of what they saw, but for many, this peculiar event evoked a distinct and profound spiritual sensation. In another region of the country, back in October 2016, a resident of South Carolina found it hard to believe his eyes as he gazed up at the sky. A heavenly cloud materialized seemingly out of nowhere on a clear day, defying conventional expectations of weather patterns. This wasn't just any cloud. It assumed the form of an angel. The South Carolina resident, feeling compelled to recount his extraordinary encounter, shared the tale of witnessing something divine during daylight hours. The cloud materialized suddenly, standing out conspicuously against its surroundings, adding to the enigma of this celestial phenomenon. Some interpreted it as a sign from a higher power, while others speculated about the potential involvement of extraterrestrial beings. Amidst these diverse perspectives, the mystery persisted, leaving open the captivating possibility that it could all be a cosmic coincidence. Not to be excluded from celestial marvels, Texas also had its brush with the mystical. On a day when the sky was adorned with clouds, a Texan man spotted a white angelic figure in the heavens. Initially dismissed as an unusual aspect of the cloud formation, the figure gradually revealed itself. The man, eager to capture this celestial spectacle, 
zoomed in on the ethereal entity. To his astonishment, the magnified footage depicted a tangible figure standing atop the clouds, resembling a snowy mountain peak. Mysterious caves and entrances have also been uncovered. The Wan Bin Province, Vietnam. In 1991, Longer Hokan stumbled upon a hidden cave entrance buried under thick jungle growth. The cliffs around it were too steep for him to explore further, but he marked its location. Nearly 20 years later, the British Cave Research Association ventured into the cave and made a remarkable discovery. It was the largest underground chamber known to humankind. This cave in Vietnam was not just any cave. It was like a whole world within itself. Standing 40 stories tall, it housed an ancient forest and flowing rivers, creating a thriving ecosystem deep underground. The Song Dum Cave, estimated to be around 3 million years old, stretched for nearly six miles through the Earth's crust. Portions of the cave ceiling had collapsed, allowing sunlight to penetrate and support the growth of trees and vegetation. Residents shared stories of encountering strange creatures believed to inhabit the cave. These beings, described as reptilian humanoids, bore a resemblance to mythical seraphim or winged serpents from ancient texts. Some wondered if these encounters hinted at beings from inner Earth, echoing legends of underground civilizations. Reports from the Vietnam War era even spoke of American soldiers encountering upright lizard-like creatures in caves, adding to the mystery. Similar tales of reptilian entities residing in underground caverns span the globe, including accounts from Cusco, Peru, where legends spoke of serpent deities and forbidden tunnels. Peruvian authorities sealed off these tunnels, deeming them too hazardous for exploration, leaving behind a cryptic part of local history. Beyond reptilian encounters, there were accounts of another inner earth entity described in ancient texts as having black eyes and minimal facial features, a description resembling modern depictions of extraterrestrial beings, commonly known as greys. Alleged abductees often recounted encounters with these entities aboard saucer-shaped craft, leading some to speculate whether UFO sightings could be linked to inner earth phenomena. Ancient astronaut theorists pointed to instances of UFOs disappearing into landscapes or mountains, suggesting a connection between unidentified flying objects and subterranean realms. These theories challenge conventional beliefs about extraterrestrial life, proposing that some UFOs may originate from within the Earth rather than outer space. The exploration of the Song Doom Cave unearthed more than just geological wonders. It sparked questions about the existence of hidden civilizations and entities dwelling deep within the Earth, challenging our understanding of the world beneath our feet. The Roswell Incident The Roswell Incident remains one of the most famous UFO events worldwide, but there have been reports of many other UFO crashes globally, along with the discovery of peculiar metal debris. In 1991, geologists exploring for gold in Russia's Euro Mountains stumbled upon a surprising find. Buried over 30 feet deep, they unearthed a collection of tiny metal coils and springs. Russian scientists using microscopes observed thousands of these minuscule nanoparticles, some measuring just one ten-thousandth of an inch. These intricate spirals and machine bits closely resemble the nanoparticles crafted by modern technology. Under the electron microscope, the sight is astounding. Scientists concluded that these items are artificially made, composed of tungsten and molybdenum. Notably, molybdenum, a robust element commonly used in NASA spacecraft, was also detected in the metal fragments found near Roswell by Frank Kimbler. These microscopic spirals made of tungsten and molybdenum possess melting temperatures exceeding 6,000 and 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. Considering the possibility of extraterrestrial probes crashing on Earth, parallels are drawn to the Roswell incident. Similarly, visitors to the Ural Mountains have reported encounters with peculiar cigar-shaped crafts streaking fire across the sky, evoking comparisons to a Russian Roswell. The Ural Mountains have a rich history of paranormal phenomena, with tales of vanished civilizations and purported sightings of dwarf-like beings. The nanoparticles discovered in the Ural Mountains raise intriguing questions about their origins. Due to their depth underground, some speculate they could have been deposited thousands of years ago, possibly over 50,000 years old. Could these nanoparticles represent remnants of a crashed alien craft from ancient times? Such speculation extends to other crash sites worldwide, 
with potential debris dating back hundreds of thousands of years. Speculation about crashed extraterrestrial craft extends to various locations globally, with facilities reportedly holding remnants in remote regions like the hills of China, Pine Gap in Australia, and Rudlow Manor in England. This leads to the question, could Roswell be just one of many sites where debris from extraterrestrial craft has been found throughout Earth's history? While the Roswell incident stands out in UFO lore, it may represent merely one instance of a global phenomenon. The discovery of similar debris in the Euro Mountains and the rich history of paranormal activity in the region add depth to the exploration of potential extraterrestrial encounters. The possibility of ancient crashes, coupled with reports from various parts of the world, paints a broader picture of humanity's fascination with the unknown and the mysteries that may lie beyond our understanding. Which of these secrets do you find intriguing? Share your thoughts and answers with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.